So you might be asking yourself, hey, self, what does a package of Pop-Tarts have to do with this lesson? And the answer is nothing. But I know that when I upload these videos to YouTube, that somehow YouTube selects one frame to put on the, to attach to the video. So I want to see if the Pop-Tarts become the magical video, what, um, thumbnail or something on YouTube. Okay, so I just spent 30 seconds talking about Pop-Tarts. Goodbye, Pop-Tarts. I will eat you later. Okay, we're going to deal with complete addition and subtraction sentences with integers. What we're going to be doing, it's, this is the start of algebra. The idea in algebra is looking for the unknown. What is missing? What makes this work? So the question is, find the missing number. When we get further in algebra, we'll use a variable right there. But what plus 9 equals 13? And I could just I could do a trial and error if I wanted to. Here, how about seven? Does seven plus nine equal thirteen? No. How about four? Does four plus nine equal thirteen? Yes. So we're gonna do problems like this, except with integers, meaning with negative numbers. Okay, let's do some. Type the integer that makes the following sentence true. I need to put a number in here that when it adds with an 8, I'm going to end up with a 4. Now, I have 8 positives. Is that 8 positives? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 positives. When it's done, I should only have four positives. So how can I get rid of four? I need to get rid of four of these, don't I? So let's go a minus, a minus, a minus, a minus. Eight positives, four negatives, gives me a total of four positives. So this is going to be negative four. That's what I'm adding to this right there to make this work, negative four. What do you think of that? Let's try this one. I have nine negatives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine negatives. I'm going to do something to it, and I'm going to end up with eight negatives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight negatives. So I have nine negatives, but I only want eight negatives. Somehow I have to get rid of one of these negatives. Well, if I do a positive, one of the negatives will go away, and I'll be left with 8. So I need a positive 1. 1 plus negative 9 is negative 8. It's working. Let's see. I have positive 4. And I need it to turn into... Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what do I need to give this guy? Well, he needs three more positives. One, two, three. But so let's put this in here, right? Three. Oh, but look, it's it's a subtraction. This isn't working. I need that to be a positive. How do I turn that into a positive? Well, we're gonna add our own boom boom to it. Four minus negative three equals positive 7. So I added a boom boom into it to make it work. Now this next one I'm not going to do by writing out positives and negatives. I'm going to think it through though. I have negative 10 plus something is a negative 56. Well I have a bunch of negatives. I'm going to need some more negatives to get to negative 56. So I know it's going to be negative. Negative 10 and negative 10. Will that work? Will that take me to negative 20? No. How about negative 46? Negative 10, negative 46, I have a whole bunch of negatives. How many do I have total? I have 56 negatives. All right, and oh, what does that say? Fire up toaster in three, two, one. Prepare for flavor blast. 
You see that? Prepare for the flavor blast. Oh, come on, focus. Prepare. Okay, and I'm not going to eat these right now. I, I've still had a couple videos to make. Ooh, look at that. Do you see how I get all... Do you see my crazy... Do you see me sh my reflection in there? It's freaky. Freaky! Okay, that's it. <laughs> Seriously, like a minute and a half of this video is just about that Pop-Tart. 